Rod of Box Boys here with Bay Baby Clinton, strength conditioning coach for James Kirkland. Um, for, you, we know your work from the San Antonio Spurs. Um, has, how many boxers have you worked with? Well, just like I told everybody, this is not my first rodeo. You know, I, I worked with Lou Duver back in uh, 2000 when he had like eight fighters down here. And, uh, you know, training is just like training everybody. You know, my training is just not for basketball, football. It's for everybody. My training is very different. Man, I had a couple of Marines come train with me. They can barely go through my stuff. So that's why James comes to me. You know what I mean? Because I know I'm the best in this business, and that's why people come train with me. Yeah, a lot of people were kind of already making assumptions and kind of writing him off, seeing that he's not with his, uh, you know, former trainer, um, Ann Wolf. Uh, wh what's your take on that, seeing how people are already kind of like not really giving you all the new team a chance? Well, there's no take on Ann. You know, I know Ann very well. Matter of fact, she came down when, when he was with Lou Duver back in 2000 and came to train, and she loved it. You know what I mean? So, no, she did everything. But I'm just taking this to a whole nother level. I'm just taking it to a whole nother level, and, and that's what James wanted. You know, I'm not taking nothing away from Ann, but I'm just taking this to a whole nother level. This is the way I train. And, you know, we know James, we've seen him get heavy throughout his career, and he's had a long layoff. Um, how, when, he, when he approached you and y'all started camp, uh, what was his condition and what's your take on that? Uh, his condition was okay. I mean, but it wasn't up to Bay Bay standard. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be ready when you come train with me. And he knew that. And, you know, he'll tell you now, there's not too many people. James not scared of too many people. And he'll tell you he's scared as hell of me because he don't know what to expect from me every day. Mm -hmm. You know, not just him, but all my other athletes that come train with me. That's what, you know, I'm going to break you down and I'm going to send you to heaven, let you see Jesus and come on back. All right. And we know that Canelo, he fights his fights in spurts. He really doesn't fight a full three minutes. He likes to, um, you know, you know, sh um, fire off combinations here and there. But um, but James is more of a pressure guy the entire round for the whole three minutes of the entire 12, 12 rounds. Uh, do y'all see this as kind of an advantage in your in, in your side and where you just get him conditioned and he can push the pace and push Canelo maybe somewhere he hasn't been yet? Hey, let him, let him, let him uh, take a round off. Let him take a round off. But, you know, what I have at my gym, nobody has. You know, that's, we got a thing called Big Bertha, and too many people can't finish Big Bertha. And I can't tell you what Big Bertha is, but if you ask all my other athletes, boy, they cannot stand Big Bertha. And Big Bertha's going to get you straight. And we, we've seen him get hurt early in, in fights, and his conditioning always pulls him through. And we've we, we seen that he's a fighter that really needs a good warm-up. Is that something y'all kind of noticed? Yes. You know, James gets stronger as he go. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. James gets stronger. And, um, you know, we're just going to try to hope he can just set it off right straight off the bat and then just keep strong and if it goes to that deep water we're going to be ready to go through that deep water all right and with the canelo trout fight i'm not sure if you're familiar with that event um they kind of had a lot of things stacked up against trout because he was facing canelo which is kind of the home guy um being such a big star he is you know that those talks about the ring was 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 uh double double matted so it was real soft to keep him from moving those open scoring do y'all kind of see yourself in the same situation where you're gonna have to really um not only face canelo but face the politics and everything else as well you know politics is everything football basketball hey if they do that so what we're gonna be ready we're gonna be ready man i'm i'm pulling out some of my old things i haven't done in years to get this young man ready you know, everybody say, oh, baby, you've been getting soft lately. And I had to. A lot of people can't take my training, so I had to take it soft on these kids because I don't want no parents getting mad at me. So now the old baby is back. All right. Well, you seem confident. A lot, a lot of people are riding on his uh, his conditioning work, um, especially with this fight, because that's that's usually that's his bread and butter right there, along with his pressure style. But is there anything else you want to get off your chest, maybe address to the boxing world who are wondering who the who, who the next team is, and uh, kind of are already picking Canelo based on his switch? Man, you know what? They they can decide on whatever they want. James picked his team on what he wanted to do. We're a good team, and I'm gonna tell you what. Just be ready. The beast is going to be unleashed. All right, baby, baby, Clinton, clang that whip, man. I appreciate your time and looking forward to the, the fight. It's going to be a big event. Thank you. Yes,